Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Fabledom. Last time, we got our bakery and the bread pipeline up and running. We got our flower farm going. Look how beautiful all the flowers are. It's cool that they put them in rows, so they're different colors along the way. Kind of like a tulip field in like Denmark. Or the, is that Holland? The Netherlands? One of the two? Um, three? Um, <laughs> the other thing that we got our access to was we got our hands on the condominium and the associated things. We also built the Arena of Trials. We did a lot last episode. What I want to try to do, in addition to continuing to try to move towards our first date with Agnes here by harvesting flowers, I would also like to set up this condominium section. In order to do so, we need to get sewer drains going. And we need to get the the town well going as well. So I'm kind of thinking we do one sewer drain here. And where? So to this tree. And then I was thinking we overlap the little the little what do you what do you even call this? Jut? <laughs> Basically treat it like a rectangle. Don't really count on these little guys because I want to build the condominium to the back anyway. And now, the other thing is, where do we put the town well? I'm almost kind of thinking, do we replace this guy entirely? But it also doesn't sound like it, it, it'll it deliver water to homesteads. Yeah, the, so the, the basic well is for homesteads. The town well is for townhouses. I'm almost thinking maybe we just slap it down here. It won't cover the full the full condominium zone, but it'll cover part of it. And then once we replace my long-term plan, oh, I just have a town homestead like existing out here um, that I never hit build on. Once we've replaced all of this stuff with more condominiums, we can just delete this, uh, ah, this basic well. When he was just a seedling. I did not even intend to click on Bob Barkskin. It just happened. All right, so we'll th we'll throw down sewer drains here. We'll throw down the town well, and then we should be able to palace hall. Cool. We need a lot of stuff for that, and we need to reach city, which I don't think we are yet. But w this will be very good for our condominium zone, because I'm kind of thinking we'll whoop, we'll just slap it down here and then fill this whole space. Oh, I remember. You build the, the foundation around it. So we would throw this guy here. We would build the condominium around it. They're unhappy because there are homesteads nearby. That's... <laughs> that's kind of classist. You guys should be better. But we'll get we'll get these sewer drains up and running. We'll get this town well. Town well? Yeah. Up and running. Oh, they already got one sewer drain done. Good job. And then eventually it'd be cool to upgrade all of our gravel roads to to cobblestone. We have a crap ton of money. Maybe we do that right now. What if I do upgrade like like so? Oh! Ho, ho, ho! It's weird that it makes no noise. But it's actually not crazy expensive to upgrade all of your roads. Bam. Yeah, honestly, I'm just going to go through, upgrade every single road we have. No more walking in the mud for us. Yeah, I don't think we're we're going to be able to build this homestead fast enough to get whoop, to get these uh, visitors to join us. We'll let that expire on its own terms. I think that's every road we have. Oh, except for the one leading up to the castle. Was I using rounded or sharp? And what's the difference? <laughs> they look they look identical to the untrained eye. What do you mean area is occupied? Oh, it's because I, I was using upgrade and not uh and not the road button. Alright. Visitors are gonna leave, that's fine. We still have crazy amounts of money. No worries there. Are you guys harvesting the, the tulips now? Looks like they are. We haven't actually harvested any yet. But soon. 
Bread production is through the roof. We're at 22 bread, 270 vegetables, and holding steady, basically. Ooh, event. We love our homes, but the area we live in could use some love. We were hoping you could help us create an area that would really impress our neighbors. Raise the desirability of three homes to 15. Oh, so this is a great time to show off a cool bit of tech that people told me. And I saw this on the Discord as well. If you guys are really interested in this game, I would recommend checking out the Discord. Uh, a lot of cool people there. The dev team uh, is really nice. Uh, I think it's just two people. Um, so you should, you should stop on by. If we go to decorations here... You can actually throw down decorations. Every every homestead in the 3x3, three three, or the 2x2 two two, I should say, but the three squares of the backyard, there's a space that is just empty. And what you can do is you can throw down decorations in that space to increase the desirability of like the whole dang neighborhood. So if we do this, we'll just like grab, like a lot of people did it with just flower pots or whatever, uh, or flower plots, I should say. Um, but you can really do it with anything. Like, we could throw a giant campfire into this person's backyard. You could do... Oh, I guess the maze garden is a little too big. Anything that's a, a one square tile. You could do a banner, if they're very patriotic. Uh, yeah, so we'll throw down a banner here. We'll put a... That's a little crowded. Circular table. Yeah, these people like to eat in their backyard. We've got a, a bush. These people get a bush. We'll throw a tree in this person's backyard. Okay, we'll do the flower plot. These people like the blue. And then uh, maybe a, a bench table back here? Log bench? <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff in everybody's yard. They're like, what are you doing, sire? We didn't ask for any of this. I like the idea of an arrow sire. <laughs> Uh, I should have put this in the this guy's house here, like back here, being like, come to my inn. <laughs> it's a great place to be. So yeah, you can just throw, throw decorations if you're like, how do I get the desirability up? That's an easy, easy way to do that. I think that's a good start. Everybody ha Somebody has to come in here and build all that, so we'll let, we'll let them build some of it. You can see some of them take wood, some of them take gold. Um, I think for our purposes, the gold might be... The thing we want to use most because we, you know we have an embarrassment of gold right now we don't really need to be precious about our gold production oh last episode if you guys missed it we also moved all of our wood making uh stuff down by the coal makers uh we moved a stockpile down here we also moved our sawmill as well so you're like how did where did all of his wood production go uh it's on that end of town now and once this, uh, man, we, the, the people just like trying to roll in here and our, oh, we have another, oh, no, no, we, we've got people in both laborers huts. I'm kind of surprised we have outstanding stuff. Although we did just queue up like everything in the world in everybody's backyard. So raise the desirability of three homes to 15. What is the desirability at right now? I, I, I have to imagine there is some sort of filter <laughs> for me to see this, and I'm just ignorant. That's the overview. World map is not what I'm looking for. Da ha ha! What does purple mean? Purple is better. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what it. Oh, we're up to two, uh, two and three. I bet we'll get there if we continue to. Uh, build build these little cool things in the backyards of everybody's house maybe over here i imagine we're not unless they get over here yeah nobody's bringing wood over here dismiss i'm sorry you guys we can't bring you in just yet let's see condo needs 20 planks and we only have 10 and then it needs four Five stone brick. Okay, so we do have the stone brick. We don't have the planks yet. But, and we haven't built the town well either. Oh, that is where some of our planks are going. Oops. I almost wonder... Well, we're short on wood again, too. Do we need a third lumber camp? 
Is everybody have a job right now? It kind of looks like everybody is employed. Yep. What does this mean? Oh, they're hungry. How could you be hungry? We have so much food. <laughs> Maybe they get hungry periodically and then, uh... And then they over they satisfy that eventually. Oh, we have to gift. I understand. We have to gift a hundred tulips. We are at forty right now. What what season is it? Fall seventeen. Please harvest enough tulips for me to gift them to Agnes. I would be very sad if we hit winter and had not achieved the number of flowers necessary. Although I I. <laughs> Considering how slow they're going, I've, I'm not 100% confident we're actually going to get to 60 before winter happens. How's the building going? Oh, you're making the street theater! Problem is, we need... <laughs> we need people uh, to man the theater, I think, to increase the desirability. I actually... Once we've... Uh, built this condominium here and kind of erased <laughs> the existing neighborhood i'll probably rearrange the these houses to be like the theater maybe right here so it's more central and then uh build condominiums around it i don't think we're going to be able to get more visitors so we'll just dismiss those for now i was kind of thinking we've got good old fergus the hero right here I was thinking we should spawn a wave of enemies while we're still like building up resources and whatnot. I think it would be kind of fun to see how this works. So, a great reward awaits the one who manages to defeat all enemies in the arena. Click the button to spawn wave. Does this mean there are going to be seven waves or do I just spawn one of seven? I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, there he goes. He's battling the, the Skellingtons. Look at him go. He's just hacking through. He's he's losing health at a prodigious rate, but he has made it halfway, over halfway. And the skeletons are no more. I like the music. <laughs> all right, well, well. Oh, we have to defeat all enemies. All right, well, let's. You officially have enough coins to fill a tub. <laughs> what are we waiting for? True, we have a ridiculous amount of money. Our fablings work hard. They deserve a nice place to rest and take in the fresh air. We suggest building a few more benches and resting places to let them get off their feet once in a while. Place 10 decorations. Great idea with the benches, quest asker. The benches, I think, are the only decoration that you can place on the side of the road, which is nice because it increases the desirability while not really getting in the way of anything. So let's go ahead and rotate. Throw a bench here. Can't block the... Oh, there's an entrance right across the way. I understand. I've made a mistake in this neighborhood in that the houses are exactly like opposite of each other. <laughs> so none of the benches can actually go around the the problem with the benches is it does take five wood you guys should have asked for this like a few days ago when i placed all of those decorations i guess the thing that's kind of weird is we still haven't hit the desirability out of of 15 on of on on multiple homes like how are you guys not fully desirable is it because your neighbors don't have decorations? I guess I could throw decorations into their house or their neighborhood. Yeah, we'll we'll slap it down in the chicken, the chicken run. That should that that'll get us. Just a lot of stuff for our builders to build. Oops, I keep hitting escape. Hey, they're actually building the thing. Maybe in time to recruit them. It's gonna be very close. Welcome. Yes, we've done it. And now, we can have the person occupy the theater. Crap! Oh, I'm devastated. We didn't, we didn't get the, <laughs> we didn't get the, the flowers I needed to go on a date with Agnes. Oh, we got the, the desirability of 15 on three houses at the very least. We placed two out of ten decorations. All right. 
We'll wait till springtime. I'm sad. We'll get the town well going, though. And that means we can start working on the condominium at the very least. They're going to be pretty upset about it. Look how mad that little face is. But it's because they're next to... Oh, the town well just got completed. But it's because they're next to their working class neighbors. And <laughs> you guys are awful. Yeah, I only want one person. But we'll, we'll get working on this. So put this guy down. We'll start with just a 3x3. Three three. Maybe we'll go... Well, that's not that much money. Oh, per though. So we'd like to throw down a town shop. And a courtyard arch. It's on the back side. What a strange place to put that. <laughs> uh, but the cool thing about the condominium is you can actually put stuff on the inside of the thing. So like here I could throw a shop on the in the inside. And that'll make people happy. So I think we'll do that. Uh, and then you can place decorations in there, just like you can with the, um, the yards of everybody. So we'll go ahead and, can, do I have to hit build on this guy? I sure do. One or more entrances are unreachable. Yeah, remove that guy. Can I, yeah, remove him. Can I switch you guys around? The area is occupado. Hold on. I can I can do this. There we go. <laughs> and then townhouse like you. Yes. Is this good? One or more entrances is un Oh, is it because these guys are facing like the back wall? Oh man, really? Can I flip you all around? What if I... Here. I have a... I have a weird idea. I'm gonna... I'm gonna remove a bunch of the housing. I'm gonna swap it. So it faces outward. Dang, guys! I haven't even finished the... Neighborhood I was currently working on. Oh, I didn't... I didn't aim it right. Where's the front of this building? Ah. There. So, the plan is to aim these two to the outside. And then... Can I point the houses to the middle? I sure can! Oh, you buggers, you... F <laughs> they would I thought they would keep it pa po pointing the same direction I had it see how it f immediately flips around and then we'll rotate you to the outside haha -ha. problem is now I can't put the the town shop inside oh you technically can but it seems to block the entrance of the houses um, but I like this because at least these houses are accessible through the little gateway. I think this is good. I could add foundation and expand it outward. I think I will. Get rid of this. I would like to build a road up this, this hill. So I'm not sure... If we if we aim it like that, we should put a town shop in here too. If we put a if we put an arch here, also this arch is useless. <laughs> I'm so Oh, you guys screwed up my whole thing now. I had an arch aiming outward. Here. There. And then now we have a stupid arch over here. What the heck? Entrance is blocked. Fine, I'll aim it inward. Okay, now this this is oriented appropriately, I think. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hit build. It's gonna take ages to build this thing, but I'm glad it's queued up. 
And then the road? Does this work? Oh, in an unlocked region. We don't have any place to put you people. Once this building is built, oh boy, you guys are going to have places to live. But, for now, no places to live. Uh, so sorry. Go away. Planks and brick, planks and bricks. Since those, those four dwarves passed by our kingdom, all other fablings seem to have gone crazy about their mantra. Let's give them what they want and hope they become too tired to shout all day. We need to produce 25 planks and 10 stone brick. I think in how many days? 30? Oh, I ran out of decorations. We, we were nine short. Let's just place a, a tree in somebody's backyard. And then we high priority that. Oh, I can't? All right, well, somebody will somebody will build that, and then I'll hopefully get this in four days. I hope so, because I don't want to lose five nobility. The thing about the planks and the wood is I'm not sure how fast we're building planks and wood. I think we're making enough to hit this target, but we'll see. Your housing advisor is insisting we should let everyone join our kingdom. We need to grow, grow, grow. Shall we open our door completely? Accept all newcomers for 90 days. There's no way. I don't. I just don't have the housing. I would love to. Just like on principle, I would love to be growing our kingdom like that. 16 days till the beanstalk. Um, but we just don't have the available housing to, to store people. And they could show up at any time. Fergus is almost back to full health. Once he is, we'll try the, the next level. The next wave. Stone masonry has finished construction. Over here? Where did we... Where did we build a stone mason? Was it this one? Oh no, it was over here. Ha 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 ha. I... Why did I put that there? I think I put that there and then I was like, I can move it later. Can't block the entrance to another building. You realize the building entrance that you're blocking is your own building, correct? <laughs> Uh, alright. A sign worker there. Now we should definitely hit the stone brick requirement. More events! Woodcutters are reporting that one of them accidentally stepped on a fairy. The little thing was more afraid than harm, but it seems to have awakened something in the forest. Don't worry, I'll send some help. Trees affected by a forester need 10 days more to grow. It remain. Uh, I'll send help? Fergus? <laughs> I don't know. I, it just it was like either get five nobility or have a have a debuff. All right, get over there, Fergus. I don't know if you actually need to do anything, but you're gonna you're gonna hang out there just for like moral support. Oh man, next episode this guy's gonna be ready. I'm I'm excited to send Fergus up there. I think it'll be ready this episode, but I want to save that for like its own <laughs> its own thing. Still working on planks. How do, how many have we produced? Four in seven days. That is not good. We only have one lumber camp. Oh, the, that's right. The pigs live there. We could put it here and it still doesn't in, uh, interrupt anybody's uh, happiness. I don't think. It's going to take 30 wood? I didn't know it took that many wood. We have 10 planks. We should be finishing this guy at some point. Yeah, I'm sorry, people. We're back to harvesting flowers. Or not, maybe not harvesting, but at least growing them. So we still only have 65. So we need 35 more before we can go on a date with Agnes. Food's doing fine. Coal did just fine through the winter. No problems there. I think our resource game is totally okay from a sustainability perspective. From a hitting quests perspective, that, that may or may not <laughs> be the case. Although it kind of looks like we've kickstarted a little bit. It'll be very close. But I, I actually, we're, we've made seven in, in 10 days. We'll hit like 21 and we'll not quite make it. So if we could get this one up and running, I would, I would greatly appreciate it. The brick will also be very close. For whatever reason, it's taking us a long time to produce stone brick. Maybe it's because our stone masonry is all the way over here. 
Although we have a second one now. And they are producing... They're each producing stone bricks, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I think the problem with the, the planks is our... Our sawmill... Isn't producing as fast as it should. And I'm not sure we'll have the resources necessary to get another one off the ground in time to even help with this quest. We'll try. I, I'm skeptical at this point. Oh, is he bringing the last? Oh, he only brought one board. Where are you getting your boards from? <laughs> is it all the way over here? No, it's not. The boards must be being stored over here. No, where are all the boards at, yo? It, it claims we have 11. But it's not in the stockpile? I'm baffled. That's all, all stone brick. We have 23 stone brick. We're doing crazy, crazy amounts of brick. Hey, we built the thing! The condominium is the hub for the next level of, t of housing, the townhouse. This is where commoners live. To live... Oh, the townhouses require a head of condominium to operate. Head of condominium will make sure the townhouses are stocked with food and other resources to keep Fablings happy. Holy hell! I thought... <laughs> for whatever reason, in my head, it was like... Okay, people. You will get... Uh, you will, you will be able to build the rest of the condo with gold. Because it was costing me gold to, like, slap down the f <laughs> the foundation or whatever it was. I did not realize every single one of these was going to use, uh, timber. Oh, you fools. H here, prioritize this one. Am I going to have to, like, manually assign? It kind of looks like our people aren't smart enough to deliver the wood to one particular section of the condo first because he he delivered the stone here and here but then they also delivered two planks to this house <laughs> so why don't we prioritize both of these see which one they finish first oh we got another world event how can we possibly call ourselves the food lovers club when we don't even have the bread to accompany our meals quite frankly we find it outrageous we need bread for our meetings or our village might fall apart Produce 15 bread? We've been producing bread like nobody's business. Fear not. More bread is on the way. We're, we're crunching out flour. Might be a little light on the bread for a little bit because the wheat is just getting rolling again now that it's springtime. We have so much money, we just like don't even know what to do with it all. We have hit our stone brick allotment. I'm kind of thinking we want to de... de assign this man. Here. Remove him from his work there. And then reassign him to the condo over here. What do you mean no, no available fablings? Oh, we have to recruit commoners. Oh, I did not realize peasants couldn't couldn't like become a commoner <laughs> uh okay interesting so when we get new newcomers then we can recruit commoners that way so we will have to build a section of this condo first so as this gets built we can we can recruit commoners to the to their new digs essentially and then uh and then we'll assign them to work in their own building, I guess. I should upgrade this road. Just to have everybody have the appropriate cobblestone. I should also buy this territory over here. It's There's zero events in it. But I really want to try this... Uh, yeah, we won't have a condo ready in a second. I want to try this road... Oh, it's perfect. Or is it? It is! Yes! The, so the idea here is that this connects through the courtyard and then up onto this next hill here. And I think it'd be kind of cool to build a an additional condo up the hill that is 
like, <laughs> overlooking the rest of the town. It's kind of fun. It's finally time to see which is the most beautiful realm. What is this based on, you ask? Our extensive knowledge about each realm's beauty, of course. However, our sources will, will remain anonymous. Out of the nine realms in this beauty contest, your rank realm ranks at, in at number six, less than ideal. The Fabling Rankers Guild. We got $300 for it. It's unfortunate. We're, how are we that low? I mean, we don't have any any condos yet. Yes! The townhouse is built. I understand the desirability is less than ideal because of the homesteads nearby. But you got y'all can't be that rude. The working people are doing their best. Two new commoners. Welcome. Throw them into that building. So, now, the, the big thing is, if we want to eventually turn this over to condominiums, it's almost like we need to erase the homesteads. Not erase, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds dark. Um, move the homesteads so that they, we have a place to move these people. So I think we need... The entrance is blocked. I think we need to move our villagers. To another part of town. So we managed to fit our, our neighborhood around the river. But we can't build any, any further west because that's where... That's where the undesirability comes from. So where should we put more houses? I guess we could put them on this side of town. Because I don't think there's anything undesirable over here. There's just a bunch of farms. It does take 15 wood and we're, we are sorely lacking in wood. So I think I'll just plot this out for now but not actually build any of them. what is this this is four houses that i've queued up one two three four five six we need six houses to be replaced here but we could slap some along this side too because this road could extend extend around around the back side just kind of like building it behind whoops we're just kind of building it behind the Windmill and the the bakery. Two new visitors, two more commoners. Fantastic. Let's do it like this. There. Now we have a new area kind of plotted out. Another world event. They're just unstoppable. Farmers have reported issues with swarms of dang fairies, man. Red wing fairies spreading in their crops. They worry that if we do not address the issue, we risk losing some of some valuable food sources. Send 150 coins to hire exterminators. Don't worry, I'll send some help. Which we spend nobility. Or I'm sure it's not that bad. Each crop has an 80%. Holy heck! 80%! That's horrible. Let's spend our money. We have a crap ton. We might as well. Whoops. Alright, so now we have two commoners. Or, uh, four, four, uh, commoners, right? Yeah, because these are peasants. We have four commoners. The move, the move plan is in, in progress. I think we should get another lumber camp going. Before I forget. So let's throw that down here. And then build the forester as well. Extend the road. Like that. And then uh, and then we'll call that good. Next time we will definitely explore the giant beanstalk. Hopefully we'll get enough flowers. Oh, we have enough flowers. Definitely they go on our first date with Agnes. And then... Uh, maybe knock out this townscaper one as we build more and more, 
uh, planks. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Fabledom or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.